The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ has revealed in Second Chronicles the uh, the ends of the earth. Jeremiah thirty sixteen says, "Those who devour you uh, will be devoured." In Second Chronicles twenty, what happened is it says here after this the Moabites and the Ammonites, and with them some of the Meunites came against Jehoshaphat for battle. And Jehoshaphat uh, pleaded with God uh, regarding all this great multitude, says here in verse 2, a great multitude is coming against you from Edom. A messenger went to Jeho King Jehoshaphat. And so this devourer is coming from Edom, from Edom, from beyond the sea. So, this speaks regarding exactly what the Bible says regarding the closing of the age. In verse 12, and this is happening right now, this is staging right now. This is right at the door. In verse 12, it says, O our God, wilt thou not, not execute judgment, reading out of the RSV Bible, upon them? Question mark. For we are powerless, and this is Jerusalem speaking to God. For we are powerless against this great multitude that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. This is first covenant Jerusalem. Okay, So they're making their pleads and supplications to God. Now, we're in the second covenant. This is exactly what's going to happen. The difference is we have more information. We have a spiritual covenant with God, and we know we know what to do. And so here says in verse thirteen. Meanwhile, all the men of Judah, and this is what we are to do: make our supplication to God. Uh, meanwhile, all the men, of, all the men of Judah, stood before the Lord with their little little ones, their wives, and their children. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of uh, Jeiel, son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, in the midst of the assembly. So God raised up a people to give instruction. And this is also found in Ezra 5, 1 to 2, and Ezra 6, 14, when uh, God raised up Haggai and Zechariah, the son of Iddo. They prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the Lord God of Israel, who was over them. Then Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, the son of uh, Josedach arose and began to rebuild the house of God, which is in Jerusalem with them, where the prophets of God were helping them. So is the prophets God raises up the watchmen and the prophets, the true ones, who give the true instruction for Israel to build the temple in the times of need. And right now what we're doing is we're building the spiritual temple. Also in Ezra 6.14 says, And the elders of the Jews built and prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Iddo. And then they finished their building by the command of the God of Israel and by decree of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes. And this report has been updated. I'm going to be adding more information. I already have. I just need to go over it. Now, in continuing in verse 15, and he said, Hearken all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. And King Jehoshaphat, um, and King Jehoshaphat, thus says the Lord God to you, fear not. And be not dismayed at this great multitude. So this is the multitude that crosses the river Euphrates. This is um, actually even 
right now, the great multitude, all the nations that are raging, that are coming against Israel, happening right now, even before this great military comes comes uh, from uh, across the Euphrates River. This is the, the one that devours itself. In verse 16, Tomorrow go down against them. Behold, they will come up by the ascent of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the valley east of the wilderness of Jeruel. So he, God is showing you, you're going to find the way to have victory against them. You will need, you will not need to fight in this battle. Take your position, stand still, and see the victory of the Lord on your behalf. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not and be not dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, and the Lord will be with you. So God is speaking spiritual warfare. He is speaking through the power of his word. Jesus said, you will stand and stand firm. Be straightened and do not be afraid. He said, do not be afraid, O little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Also, for the Lord will be with you. Tomorrow, go out against them, and the Lord will be with you. Then Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites of the uh, Kohathites and the Korahites stood up to praise the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. And they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat, and, and that Jehoshaphat means Yahweh has judged. So it is the judgment. It is the valley of decision. It is the, it's the valley of judgment. Okay? It's the judgment of God. So Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. Believe his prophets, and you will succeed. And when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord, to praise him in holy array. And this is regarding Jesus. In Acts 2.17, Joel 2.28 in Acts 2.17. Acts 2.17 says, In the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all people, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Yes, and on my men servants and my maid servants in those days I will pour out my Spirit, and they shall prophesy. They will have. They will receive more. Those who respond. And so here, this is this is what is happening. So they are appointed. And when he had taken counsel with the people, he appointed those who were to sing to the Lord. That's the marriage supper of the Lamb, the sealed one hundred and forty-four, and praise them. That's one hundred forty-four thousand in Revelation. To sing to the Lord and praise Him in holy array, white robes, as they went before the army and say, Give thanks to the Lord, for His steadfast love endures forever. And this is also in the Psalms. In verse 22, And when they began to sing and praise the Lord, and, and, and when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. So here we have the iron, that is Ammon, from the north, and Moab, we have the Murray clay. And Mount Seir is the New World Order, who had come against Judah, so that they were routed.
For the men of Ammon and Moab rose up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, destroying them utterly. This speaks regarding Job 18.14, or 14.18. In Job 14.18, But the mountain falls and crumbles away, and the rock is removed from its place. So, Edom, the mountain, the New World Order, Mount Seir, is crumbling down. It will be taken down by the Ammonites. It's the New World Order that is... Uh, them, it's killing itself uh, uh, by inducing world war. And the Ammonites, once again, are the giants and spiritual giants. And Moab resembles the Chaldeans. Moab is also Chemosh, it's also Allah, also Isis, also Ishmael, also Chaldeans. And the Ammonites is King Nebuchadnezzar here, because they are destroying. It comes to the, to the point of destruction. It is the sword of God. It is King Nebuchadnezzar. Now, the Holy Spirit also reveals that the, and he revealed this a while ago, for example, you have Chemosh, you have, uh, now you have Allah, and you had another, Chemosh was probably called something else in a different era. They're all the same, like um, Ishtar, Ashtaroth, Ast um, and Diana. It is the goddess of fertility. They is the same goddess, but it just means different things in that era. It was used uh, in a different application, in, in a different time. And all those gods are now converging all at once on this generation. They're manifesting in all those different ways. Now, um, so here, in Mount, Mount Seir is the says here, For the men of Ammon and Moab rose up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, destroying them utterly. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they all helped to destroy one another. So that, once again, is um, Jeremiah 30, 16. Those who devour you will be devoured. And in Zechariah, also... 11 verse 9 says so I said I will not be your shepherd what is to die let it die what is to be destroyed let it be destroyed and let those that are left devour the flesh of one another so that's exactly what is happening it's ex this is exactly what is going to be transpiring here in the immediate future extremely soon. So I hope you're edified. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Praise the Lord. Glorify the Lord. Jesus Christ with all worship and praises and desire the spiritual, the pure spiritual milk that through that we may grow thereby into greater salvation in a mature relationship with Jesus, understanding the signs of the times, knowing where we are, and knowing exactly what to do. So, God bless you, and, and Jesus is Lord. Amen and amen.